Hello and welcome to Richmond TV's Community Focus. I'm your host Jason Robbins and with, we have a great show lined up for you today. We have Don Graham from the Richmond Area Historical and Genealogical Society to talk about the Richmond Area uh, Heritage Festival. Uh, and then we also have Randy Hewitt from Senior Helpers to talk about the Summer Concert Series. Be right back, uh, stay tuned and we'll be right back. And welcome back. Our first guest today is Don Graham. How are you doing, Don? I am well, thank you. So it's great to have you on the show. Um, so wh what is the Heritage Festival, the Richmond Area Heritage Festival? Yeah, well, first of all, Jason, let me tell you thank you for having me. And uh, it's a delight to be able to talk about something that is interesting <laughs> to me is what this right. festival is. Um, we wanted to do something to emphasize the agricultural heritage of the Richmond area. Uh, even today, you drive through Richmond and you can see several businesses that are ag-related. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a couple of motivation, motivating factors uh, to this. Uh, number one, the barn that's now in the historic village. Mm -hmm. That was uh, located by the railroad tracks in downtown Richmond, recently mm -hmm. moved and renovated by mm -hmm. the Amish. And we think that that's a great facility. It's a great asset to the community. We'd like to see a lot of people go through there. Mm -hmm. uh, inside, there are a lot of old farm implements. There's a horse-drawn sleigh, a horse-drawn wagon, mm -hmm. several other horse-drawn farm implements, okay. a lot of hands-on exhibits. So there's plenty for people to see and do and learn. Uh, secondly, we have the Donnelly Log Cabin, and that's another asset that mm -hmm. is rare in cities this size. Um, it's been fully restored. Uh, there's been a little bit of work done it just in the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, I, yeah, know I saw that, them up there on the roof. Yeah, <laughs> new roof. Uh, they've redone the floors. They've redone the inside a bit. There's some new things in there. Mm -hmm. uh, kids are delighted to go through there. Uh, every year, kids from surrounding elementary schools uh, go through. And uh, we think adults ought to as well. There's a lot there for adults to see and do and learn. So uh, we want to emphasize the Donnelly Log Cabin. Mm -hmm. uh, the last Sunday every June is Michigan Log Cabin Day. Okay. So that's the reason we chose the weekend. Mm -hmm. And I suppose there's a third motivating factor. We want to do what we can to educate people, not only about the agricultural heritage, but about uh, things that were done in bygone days. Uh, we want to try to stimulate uh, the creative side of children. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to encourage people to think about engineering skills that right. were involved in this. Mm -hmm. I mean, if uh, some of your listeners' kids or grandkids are interested in engineering or science, uh, anything like that, they'll probably benefit from a visit to this place. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, uh, that's the reason. Uh, that's why we're doing it. And uh, we hope uh, that people from the very youngest to the very oldest will enjoy a visit there. So you talked about the barn, you talked about uh, the log cabin. Mm -hmm. uh, so all these are located at the historic uh, village. So is the entire Heritage Festival taking place on uh, in the historic village? It is, it is. Um, it's on Park all, Street, correct? On Park Street, uh, right near the intersection of BB Street, right across the mm -hmm. road from BB Street Park, uh, part of Bailey Park. And uh, all of the events, uh, there'll be horse-drawn mm -hmm. uh, hay rides from 10 to 1 on Saturday, and we think on Sunday as well. When the horses aren't there, we'll have tractors pulling the wagon. Okay. So that'll be of interest, but it, it starts all right there at the historic village. Mm -hmm. All of the buildings are going to be open. Now, when do, where, does the, uh, where, where does the horse and buggy ride take you? Uh, it'll take around, uh, take... I was going to say us and them <laughs> in, the, in the same word, which is awkward, but it'll take visitors around uh, the Little League fields and okay. around uh, uh, BB Street Park. Okay. So, um, so um, what, are, uh, what are some of the uh, events that you're going to have going on during that time? Yeah, uh, I started to say all of the buildings are going to be open. That includes the museum. It includes the one-room schoolhouse. Mm -hmm. It includes the train depot that uh, dates, they called it a whistle stop to be technically correct, back to the 1800s, the log mm -hmm. cabin, uh, the barn, obviously. Uh, we're going to have a petting farm for okay. the children so kids can get up close and personal with mm -hmm. farm animals, learn how people take care of farm animals today. Uh, we're going to have several antique games for them to participate in. Uh, uh, there's uh, going to be a lace maker there, mm -hmm. uh, a hopefully candle maker, a lady spinning wool. Uh, in essence, it's going to be like a mini Greenfield Village. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. so at each of uh, so at each of the buildings and everything, you're going to have 
you're going to have people who are doing some kind of presentation either on spinning wool or lace or any of those things that, that the way they used to do things back in the old times. Exactly right. Uh, we call them docents, mm. but there'll be people that can answer any question that you've got about either the building or the things in the building. Mm. And in addition, uh, the highlight of the festival will be a, a tractor display. Okay. Uh, we are going to have lots of tractors there. Mm. Uh, some uh, will look museum quality. Uh, some of these farmers, they take these tractors, they take all the sheet metal off, all the nuts and bolts, mm -hmm. the pistons out, the piston rings, and uh, they redo it. And yep. they're shiny and pretty, and it looks like they'd ought to be on a museum uh, mm -hmm. uh, floor. Some of these tractors date back to 1920. Uh, some of these tractors are worth ten, many tens of thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, other tractors will look like somebody just drove it off the <laughs> field onto a trailer and brought it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, some of those will be there as well. Okay. And uh, the owners will be there, and they love to talk about these tractors. So it'll be a great opportunity to, uh, to take a look at those. If anybody has an interest in mechanics, mm -hmm. um, great Do you, opportunity. Where exactly are those going to be located? In terms of the fest uh, of the of Bailey Park and the historic village, yeah, the city is going to shut down Park Street for us. Okay, and uh, so the tractors will be lined up right along Park Street, so it'll be easy to get up and close to those. Okay, so, um, so you mentioned so that there are going to be some old timey games. Can mm -hmm. you describe uh, some of them for us? Uh, yeah, I wish I had the list in front of me, <laughs> but uh, they're going to be able to take some old clothing and wash it with the old scrub boards. Uh, mm. There's going to be um, Pulley That's games game? and rope making, well, it sounds more like work, doesn't it? <laughs> right. uh, for kids, they probably see it as a game. We mm -hmm. see it as work. Uh, um, but uh, rope making, mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be a bean sorter that they can run, uh, hula hoops. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a bean toss. Uh, there's a man that has put together uh, the wooden platforms, I don't know what you call them, but the base mm -hmm. is with a hole in it and the kids can toss old gloves filled with corn uh, <laughs> into those holes. So cornhole toss, I think is the proper name for it. Yep. Uh, there's going to be candy scrambles uh, for mm -hmm. different ages where we're going to mix uh, the candy into the straw or sawdust, whatever we uh, use, and uh, they'll have bags and they can go in there and grab the candy okay. and uh, so forth. So there'll be uh, quite a bit to do. Uh, again, as I said earlier, we kind of want to stimulate the creative side of, of kids and uh, get them actively involved with hands-on learning, kinesthetic learning. Mm -hmm. so. so the the Heritage Days Festival is, uh, is on June 29th and 30th? That's right, uh, Saturday and Sunday yep. from 10 o'clock in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. And uh, another thing that I didn't mention but probably should for uh, the viewers, um, we're going to have an antique sawmill there. I was just about there to ask going you about to be, that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> people cutting up logs into lumber the way they did way mm. back when. That will take place at 11 o'clock and 2 o'clock, both Saturday and Sunday. Okay. So. All right. Um, and what's the shingle mill? Um, there's a, it's kind of like a mini sawmill, mm. belt driven from another antique tractor okay. that will take a block of cedar uh, I'll call it a trunk of a tree, but mm -hmm. about yay high, and it cuts it into shingles. Okay. And then they're going to brand. Uh, they've produced a, a branding iron that talks about the Heritage Festival with a date and so forth. Mm -hmm. They'll brand that into the shingle, and uh, those shingles will be available for uh, a donation. Okay. Yeah. And it says on the flyer you're going to have food available. That's right, and uh, maybe I don't want to say this real loud, but the food is going to be free. A lot of it has been okay. donated. And uh, in the uh, interest of fair and full disclosure, there will be a donation jar next to the food, but there's going to be hot dogs, there's going to be chips, uh, cookies, uh, trying to think what else, drinks, mm -hmm. um, that it'll all be free. Oh, that's so, awesome. Yep. Um, so is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, uh, it will be an exciting time. Mm -hmm. It will be a family time. Is a, at the risk of repetition, the youngest children to the oldest adults will find something of value there. Uh, if you were to see this at Greenfield Village, it would cost you $25 to get in. Mm -hmm. Absolutely free. Right. And it's a great community event, a great opportunity to see what's available there. I mean, this whole historic village, mm -hmm. just a fantastic place. Uh, uh, if you're into horticulture, there are mm -hmm. some ladies there that go to great lengths to make sure the flowers and the bushes are spectacular to look at. It does look beautiful it, over it's there. A, yeah, beautiful is the right word. Just a, a terrific opportunity uh, for, to do a family event okay. together as the family. So. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Don, well, thank for you for coming having on me. the show. Not a problem. Appreciate the opportunity to talk about it. 
Anytime. So. Next time you have a big, uh, you're having an event, come to the show. <laughs> Appreciate it again. Thank you. Not a problem. All right. So the Richmond Area Historical and Genealogical Society will be hosting the Richmond Area Heritage Festival on June 29th and 30th uh, at from 10 to 4 p.m. Ray, rain or shine. Uh, there will be free, uh, food available along, uh, during the festival, along with a bunch of different activities. So make sure you go to uh, support your local uh, your local organizations. Uh, with me next is going to be Randy Hewitt from Senior Helpers to talk about the Summer Concert Series. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome back. With me now is Randy Hewitt from Senior Helpers. How you doing? Very good. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for the invite. Not a problem. So we have the summer concert series starting up uh, the, uh, tomorrow, actually, June twentieth. Yes. Um, so, but we'll have other con you'll have other concerts throughout the year, correct? Yes, we the have. Summer. We have them. The easiest way to remember it's the third Thursday of every month, June, July, and August. Okay, so that's June twentieth, August eighteenth, and uh, sorry, <laughs> June twentieth, July eighteenth, and August fifteenth. Correct. Okay. Yes. At 7 p.m. Okay, uh, so uh, how did you get involved with the summer concert series? Well, we actually hire caregivers to go out and assist people through our company. And one of our caregivers is a member of the New Horizons band. And she actually goes around and plays for some of our clients. And then she introduced us to the band. And we just made a, an association with them, invited them here. And this is actually, they tell us, one of their favorite cities to play in. <laughs> And uh, we've been doing this for about eight, eight years now. And we look forward to this year and another year at least. What do they like per about performing here so much? Um, just that th they have a very good turnout. Our crowds run between 60 and 105 people. Mm -hmm. um, and just that everybody seems to be very appreciative of the fact that they are a volunteer organization. Okay. Um, so where, uh, where are the concerts going to be? Okay, they are held at BB Street Park um, behind the Senior Center. There's a pavilion. The band sits in the pavilion, and we ask that uh, spectators bring chairs. There are some picnic tables to sit on. Mm -hmm. And um, we have planned for this year, for tomorrow, um, we'll be passing out water. Okay. The, this will be an eight-piece band tomorrow. They mm -hmm. call it the Brass Band. And all of them are subgroups of the main band, New Horizons. Okay. During July, we will be having all beef hot dogs and mm -hmm. potato chips and water. Mm -hmm. And then in August, we plan to have popcorn and water. Okay. All free of charge mm -hmm. to whoever shows up. By the way, the hot dogs in July, really good. So are the popcorn in August. So anyway. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just want to put that plug out there for you. <laughs> um, so we t uh, you talked about the New Horizons band and that all the bands are an offshoot of that. Um, so what are the different styles between the three? Well, the main, the main band, well, they all pretty much play classical, um, old-time music, such as Glenn Miller, Tommy Dorsey, but some of the splinter bands actually play some international songs, okay. um, like The Sound of Music. Mm -hmm. in, um, the third band, and I can't remember the name of it, sorry, mm -hmm. um, they actually have a lady singer who comes and sings to, with the band. Okay. So it's a little variety, each mm -hmm. band. Well, that's really good. Uh, so uh, you said earlier, so you do have, uh, so you're going to have refreshments there, food and refreshments at some at the yeah. concerts. Um, did you did you say that the concert was free? The concert's free. The food's free. Awesome. Brings out a lot of people right there. <laughs> well, we, we wanted to provide something. We're in the senior care business, mm -hmm. and we wanted to bring, bring something to the community that they can relate to and help get them out of the house okay. on a beautiful summer evening. Um, so how long have you, been, uh, have you been putting on the summer concert series? I believe this is our eighth or ninth year. Okay. Um, and every year you get a great turnout? With the exception of last year, was our first rained out concert one one month. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty remarkable. Over uh, eight or nine years of having that, and you only get one rain day. 
God's been good to us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, now what do, uh, what, do, uh, what are some of the services that senior helpers provide the residents of Richmond? Well, our caregivers, are, our caregivers are employees of our company. We are family owned and operated, my wife, myself, and my brother. And basically, we try to help family members take care of their loved one mm. in the form of cooking, cleaning, laundry, housekeeping, errands, transportation, pretty much anything that a son or daughter would do for their parent, mm. our, our caregivers can do as long as it's legal and safe for both of them. Okay. Now, uh, what uh, have you always been a resident of Richmond? Actually, no. I live in Chesterfield. Oh, okay. <laughs> I located the business here. <laughs> My <laughs> wife grew up in Emmett. Okay. So um, I passed through this town quite often while we were dating prior to getting married. And I just like this community. It's very quaint. Mm -hmm. It's peaceful. It's clean. Mm -hmm. And that's why I chose to purchase a building here in, right on Main Street. Mm -hmm and the city and the community have been good to us. Um, I have been on the chamber board mm. three, for three years, um, and I'm currently in the Rotary. I was past president two years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are very involved in the community. The community's been good to us, and this is why we give back with, in the form of the concerts. All right, is there anything else you'd like to add? Just pray for good weather. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Randy, for coming in and talking to us well, today. Thank you for giving us the opportunity. Anytime. Summer Concert Series presented by Senior Helpers will be on June 20th, July 18th, and August 15th at 7 p.m. located at the BB Street Park Pavilion. Uh, they'll, on, at the June, they'll have water. At the July, they'll have uh, hot dogs and water and chips. And then at the August concert, they'll have popcorn and water available. All for free, and the concert is for free. So make sure you go check those out. And then uh, you can check us out on our YouTube channel, Richmond TV 12. And then you can also check out our uh, Comcast Channel 6 if you live within the Richmond city limits. I've been Jason Robbins, and thank you very much for, enjoy uh, for joining us.